hello guys welcome to nemtech channel my name is nehemiah and uh, this is lesson four on file handling in python and uh, we are going to discuss uh, binary files remember we have uh, two types of files we have the text files and uh, we also have the binary files uh, most of the files that we see in our computer system are called the binary files the examples are the document files like uh, the pdf the docs the excel files or uh, the images files like uh, the png jpg gif bmp the video files like uh, mp4 uh, 3gp mkv avi and so forth the audio files like mp3 wav mka aac the database files like uh, the mdb scde uh, and uh, frm remember there are very many and uh, we also have the archive files like uh, the zip files the rar files the iso files 7z and so forth and also the executable files like uh, ex exe and uh, so forth and so guys are uh, all binary files follow a specific format we can uh, open some binary files and the normal text editor like uh, this pycharm uh, actually we are using this pycharm ide for python and uh, but uh, but then i guess uh, we can't we can't read the code present inside the the file because uh, uh it's uh it's uh all the binary files will be encoded into uh, the binary format which can be understood only by a computer uh, machine and so guys uh, for handling such uh, files we need a specific type of a uh, software to, to open it like uh, we will need the uh, the microsoft word to open the the word document or uh, the uh, the psd uh, file to be opened in a photoshop software photo editor software to read the the image files and uh, so forth remember we have uh, several files like uh, to read the the uh, actually the um the presentation like uh, we, we will use the powerpoint and so forth and so guys uh, let me show you how we can convert uh, a photo into uh, into an uh, a binary files in this text editor now what we are going to do we are going to first of all i'm going to show you the basics but then we are going to dive deeper into it but then uh, let me show you first of all the very basics how we can uh, read it we can read, read, just read just like uh, the normal uh, text files uh, f to create our uh, object and then our uh, open function to uh, to open the object now um we are going to use what i'm going to use two arguments yeah, actually two parameters and the first one is um sorry first of all let me uh find the image so guys uh, basically this is the image that uh, we are going to you open but then i uh, remember it will be uh, uh, it will be encoded into uh into um a binary a uh, format so let me copy the part and then uh, let me go to my text editor picture basically guys you can use any text editor you can use jupyter you can use uh, you can use what you can use a uh, visual studio code but then uh, let me just use this one and then uh, guys uh, when uh, when uh, you know copying when using the file path you must use what the double uh, backslash so let me use here double backslash here also a uh, double backslash uh, here also a double backslash and also a double backslash and then uh, also a double backslash now since it is a, is a binary file you must specify the mode as uh, read uh, binary rb to specify the the you know the mode basically to write it is rb to append is r uh, actually ab actually to write is wb to append is um a b and so forth and then now uh, uh, guys uh, let me say print uh, print what uh, print uh, f but then in the read format f dot read and then uh, we remember to close always to close other otherwise you might have issues uh, in future so let me say x dot read uh, x dot uh, x sorry x dot close um what do i do so let me say x dot ah uh, it is uh, it is f sorry guys it's f so f dot uh, close sorry guys and then uh, um to run it so first of all let me try to zoom in so that you can see i i don't know if you can have been able to see but then i uh, guess that this day this is the code that we have just written f is our we have used a uh, variable f to create this object and then our open function is used to open the the you know uh, the the object 
and uh, inside this um, open function we have added two parameters here the file path and also the mode which is the read and then at uh, the print function to execute the calls at the terminal and then now uh, the close we have used here close function actually a uh, uh, method to to close it so that uh, uh, we may uh, we may not have issues uh, with our files so uh, what we do to read it to run we use this uh, run button and then uh, guys you can see here at the end uh, the image is just converted into uh, the binary file actually the computer reads that file in this format so this is how uh, the computer read that image so in our human um, uh, understanding of the image or uh, reading this image is uh, it is like this but then uh, the computer reads uh, it in this uh, format in this uh, file so this is the what we call the uh, you know the binary you know and i guess uh, basically this was the shallow part of it so we are going to dive uh, deeper so we are going to use uh, the 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 module here we are going to import the module called pcol and uh, to read it we'll be using the load function uh, which will be which will be using it to uh, read uh, an object into a binary file and uh, and uh, we shall be using the dump function to write an object into a binary file so uh, guys uh, without further ado let me just uh, clear everything here and then uh, let me try to do it let me try to um let me try to do it let me try to zoom in for you to see uh, much better and then uh, guys i said that uh, we import the module called what uh pico pico uh, module and i uh, guess uh, let me also create here a list so i'm gonna use a list so let me create a variable for list as l or uh, any name any letter or any name and then uh, let me create a list we we'll use this uh, uh this uh, square bracket to create a list uh, you can say for example uh, let me use integers here let me say 10 uh, 20 uh, 30 uh, 50 60 remember list allows uh, to use uh, you know to mix you know data types you can use uh, these uh, integers we can as well use strings so let me use a string here like uh, let me say nehemiah my name is nehemiah and then uh, perhaps let me also put my other name is wakesa my other name is wakesa and then uh, guys uh, what i'm gonna do here let me also create what let me um create an object with the x variable and then i uh, remember use the open function uh, to open our object Mm, open what i'm gonna create here uh, an, uh, a text sorry first of all let me zoom in i'm gonna consider that we don't have uh, you know the binary file here so i'm gonna create here a file so first of all let me uh, zoom in and then i guess the file that i'm gonna create here for example is a text a text and, and then a dot a test let me say test test dot um I remember we use DAT, D, uh, DAT. You can use DAT or uh, bin for binary files. So first of all, we must it must be into it must be enclosed with a quotation mark. And then uh, let me say uh, test dot uh, DAT. Remember, if the file does not exist, it will create a new file. And then uh, uh, so guys, I will use DAT or a bin for binary files. And then uh, the mode here you must specify the mode. The mode is uh, we are we want to read so R uh, R D R uh, actually reading for binary R B for reading the binary file. And then uh, guys, uh, what I'm gonna do here? I'm creating here. What I'm, I'm gonna create. Um, I'm gonna create. So let me say we use the. Uh, let me say P call. Let me use this module pickle dot uh, pickle dot dot uh, dump uh, pickle dot dot dump then uh, and I guess that the parameters here we are going to use the uh, the list object here uh, which we use the variable l and then at uh, the object itself was uh, x and then now uh, to print these are uh, codes we use the print function uh, to execute the codes at the terminal we use the print function but then i want us to i want it to display uh, let me let, let it print out name take is awesome name take is awesome name take is awesome absolutely it's awesome very awesome 
and then uh, we use the close function always remember to use the close function so that uh, you may not be interfered you, your file you actually have a file may not be interfered and then now uh, uh, to close we use the x actually the object uh, name and then now uh, what and the close what the close uh, object actually the close to close what to close our um, our file so guys uh, it's gonna create here a new file because i can see we don't have a file named uh, test.dat but then uh because uh, we said that uh, the uh it can as well create new files so it will create i uh, basically will use here um, i'm gonna write because uh, the file does not is not exist does not exist we're going to write a binary file so um what i'm gonna do guys uh, let me click on the shift uh, let me click on shift plus what shift plus um uh, shift plus f10 but then uh, you can see the shortcut here when you hover here you can see at this other end there's a shortcut shift plus i uh, then i uh, click on shift plus f10 and then you can see here our uh, name tech is awesome and then now guys you can see we have the, here this file uh which is converted into the binary format let me uh, zoom in so guys it has just converted into the binary format but then i guess you need to install this uh this uh you know uh, hex uh hex uh you know editor what you do go to the setting uh go here at the top go to here at the top to the setting icon here and then now uh, go to the plugins go to the plugins and then uh, here just search for uh just search for hexadecimal editor or a binary editor just search uh, hexa a hexadecimal editor then you are, you are going to find uh, you are going to find it here or a binary editor then you are going to install and then uh, it will be in your system so that it may be able to read the you know these are uh, binary files so guys you can see that uh, this is how uh, this is how these are uh, computer reads what that list so um basically you can as well use what you can as well use the you can as well use the you know the input function it's not a must to write here now the the list you can as well use the uh, the you know the input function so that when the users to key in their their data it will be displayed it will be displayed as a list let me show you that let me remove that list and then i guess what i'm gonna do let me create the the variable for the list and then i'm gonna use what the uh, the eva to the eval the eval and then uh, here let me use also the um the input sorry uh, let me say first of all let me zoom um let me zoom in so eval then uh, here input uh, input and then inside this input i'm gonna use a stream for example let me say um and uh, something like uh, enter your uh, enter your list let me say enter your list uh, enter your list then i create a white space here so that uh, uh it may have some space in there and then i guess uh, what you what you do let me try to zoom out first of all and then i shift plus what shift plus 15 and then i guess you can see here enter your list for example let me say 10 uh, here let me zoom in uh, let me zoom in so here at the time you can see enter your list i can say 10 for example 20 uh, 30 uh, 40 uh, 50 uh, 50 uh, 60 60 you can as well use a string remember the the list allows you to uh, to mix you know data types you can use integers booleans uh the strings and so forth let me use a string like uh, let me say nehemiah nehemiah wakesa nehemiah wakesa and uh, so forth so uh, when i click on enter you can see here name tick is awesome so uh guys uh, when we go to the uh, when we go here to our to our um, to this what to this file type we are going to see that we have uh, this file here you can see uh, the computer reads uh, that list of hours uh, guys are uh, basically this how you can uh, write a uh, binary, binary files in uh, in python so let me show you now how you can read the files now uh, let me 
now to read files remember you we use switch function we use the um the load function uh, which is used to uh, to read the uh, operation from a binary files let me go to this um main.py now what i'm gonna do here um, first of all let me uh, do it let me just uh, clear these stuff remember the module you, you must import the module pico and then uh, here i'm gonna use what i'm gonna use so first of all let me zoom in and then uh, here i'm gonna use what uh, let me create here uh, an object with a variable x and then uh, let me assign it to uh, let me say open remember we must use the open function to open those files and then uh, the file path um, I don't know I don't know why these stuff keep on popping up but then uh, uh, let me say um, it was test uh, test actually it must um, it must be in, in closing to these uh, quotation marks and then, uh, let me say test dot remember for binary files you must use DAT or a or a bin or a bin bin um, extension dot DAT or a dot uh, bin uh, BIN and then uh, you must specify the mode which is read mode uh, read binary we are reading this uh, binary file and then now uh, uh, let's create here a variable for the read uh, x that was x then uh, for reading I'm gonna use p call dot uh, load dot load uh, load what that object x and then now to to exec to be executed in the in the terminal we're going to use the print function print and then now uh, we are printing what uh, this uh, variable y and then I uh, must always remember how to do it how to close to close we use um, we use what the the file name and then now uh, actually the object object name or uh, yeah, the object name and then now uh, the close what with the close parameter actual function here or a method so guys that is how you can do it this is how you can read so let me do it let me first of all zoom out and then i click on shift plus shift plus um shift plus f10 and then i uh, guess you can see that uh, this is how we have we can read what these are uh, binary files here this is how we can do it this is how we can read these uh, binary files uh, here and so guys uh, basically this is how we can handle uh, binary files uh, in python so guys uh, this is what i wanted to show you can try appending deleting and uh, so forth but then uh, this is how you can work with the binary files uh, for you to understand better if you have not watched the previous classes please go ahead and watch for you to understand uh, this uh, files very very well so guys in our next uh, classes we shall be tackling uh, the uh, python modules so until next time this is nehemiah goodbye